Welcome back, everybody. I wanted to give a quick update on my anemone. As you can see, that was his full size. So today I came home, and he was face down. He still has yet to hold on. Um, I've moved my pumps around. Now I only have one pump on this side. I moved the other one this way and had it face towards the back. So this way it does that wraparound effect. Um, he hasn't floated off yet, and as you can see, he's bloomed rather nicely, but he's still only being held in place based on the water current. Um, his foot's not really anchoring. The silver side I fed him yesterday, when he was face down, he regurgitated, so it was semi-digested, but not anywhere near. My dog is pushing me around. Um, so now you can see his full size. Um, what I am noticing is he is bleaching um, slightly. Well, I would say more than slightly. But I am seeing um, more yellow color flooding in. So if he is supposed to be tan and blue tipped, then maybe I'm on the right track. Um, he's, he's getting, like some of his lower ones, um, when they shrink, they're showing really good signs of, of yellow. Um, when they're puffed up, they're very, very, very white. So I know he's bleaching, and I know that's bad, um, but I don't know what else to do with him, and I've been reading Reef Central for 48 hours straight. Sea bays are apparently hard to maintain, hard to understand hard to play with I've posted requests about my lights and haven't got much response so either people aren't using them or there's just not enough feedback on them um, so since he was face down this morning and his tentacles were puffed and he was upside down and tentacles puffed and pointing up towards the light I figured well maybe he's just getting too much light uh, somebody told me I could possibly fry it with too much direct LED light uh, so what I'm doing now is I've attempted just the 50-50 Itinic, uh, 16 watt, straight down, right on top of him. The additional 8 watt direct sunlight, 10K, I'm taking it out for the night, and I'm going to see how he looks in the morning, uh, see if he's still like this. Last time I tried this attempt, he uh, shriveled to the bottom of the tank and flattened and became very lethargic and wouldn't move at all, but he was at least stuck. Um, with that said, he's, he's a big one. Now let's just hope I can keep it alive. I'm really, I really like it, and so does Jack, apparently. Every time I put my hand in there when he's face down and to flip him upside down and put him back on his foot... Jack bites me. So Jack is becoming very aggressive and territorial of his anemone. Um, he sometimes flutters in there and he's starting taking food away from the anemone. Um, so I put a silver side in there today to see if I could get it to eat what it regurgitated. Well, not, it didn't use the same regurgitated food, but I put another piece of fish in since he regurgitated last night's food. And uh, Jack is starting to pick at whatever food is the anemone is grabbing onto so it's a good sign for the anemone or it's a good sign for the clown in the hosting situation but it's not still not looking good for the anemone um i'm going to try to post we, uh, daily updates uh i've seen a lot of posts with uh sea days dying and hopefully with the water change the water flow change um that might help i hope um apparently it doesn't like um high pressure water uh, at its face, it prefers it at its back as it seems, because when it does grab a hold, it extends out, and it likes the water going from the foot towards the front, so that's why I positioned that one to wrap that, wrap that, and what it does is it curls up in behind its back. Um, we'll see what that does. I'll keep you updated.